Ever wondered how your streaming apps perform under the hood? Let's take a look at how Amazon Prime Video fared in a real-time performance test conducted on a Samsung device powered by PCloudy's app performance. This is the report generated by simply performing a user journey while PCloudy's app performance engine collects all the data behind the scenes. The app scored an impressive index of 0.94, placing it in the excellent category of user experience. No app crashes were reported, and the resource consumption on average remained lean, with a CPU usage of around 12% on average. With the app's cold launches at just over one second and hot launches in less than 70 milliseconds, the app ensures users jump right into their content. But all is not smooth sailing. Our detailed UI insights revealed a high number of jank frames, 641 to be precise. This means that the visuals may not always be rendering smoothly, potentially causing lags or stutters during playback and navigation. On the network front, most requests were successful with possible slow and insecure endpoints. Now let's look into each of these sections in detail. Here is the time series graph that gives you detailed insights into your application across 20 plus metrics along with the corresponding UI. Now, let's look at a particular timestamp where I have performed a click on a specific viewing content. The app CPU utilization is at around 23%, which indicates a significant processing demand which can drain battery, cause device heating and lead to app sluggishness. There is a janky frame detected in this timestamp which could indicate a non-responsive experience for the user. The total memory is 377 MB with a high native heat usage and Java heat. This could lead to app crashes specifically on lower end devices. Finally, the battery drain is 11.4 mAh which is significantly high and could lead to fast battery consumption and frustrate users leading to higher app abandonment rates. In the UI insights, we see the page transition timeline, where we can see here that it took a long time to play a video once it was clicked. In the frame timeline, we see delayed frames. For example, in this frame, in the landing page of the app, we see that the delay was over 163 milliseconds. This is way beyond the threshold of 16 milliseconds and means that the user could be experiencing lags or a frozen UI. In the network section, we can see all the APIs and its status. Also, on the left, you can see the AI-driven categorizations. We can filter out the slowest endpoints, the failed requests. Further, we can see that the static content is not cached, which leads to repeated API calls. This would lead to frustrations for users, particularly in the lower bandwidth networks. Also, you can click on each individual API, see the header, preview, response and timing breakdown of that API. And finally, in the log analysis section, we can see that there are some frame skips that have been detected in the device logs. Therefore, as you can see, PCloudy's app performance uncovers deep insights and root causes with 60 plus metrics that impacts the performance of your application, optimizing and speeding up user satisfaction. 